Hello everyone, welcome to the showcase of Pug's brand new vehicle chopping resource. Here you will see all of the vehicles Pug has obtained over time stealing and storing them in his underground warehouse he has purchased. As you can see all the vehicles are stored nicely and locked up. Before getting into all of the resource features let's just start from the beginning. Here you will have found yourself at one of the 5 random garage locations around the map. Developers can add or remove however many they would like. Firstly we will see here you can purchase a garage if you are not currently a part of one and secondly that we can enter a password to enter a garage. We will just stick to purchasing one for now. After purchasing your very own garage you will be introduced with a cutscene explaining mostly how the garage will work. This is of course optional through the configuration whether or not this cutscene will play for the player or if the player will just enter the garage and explore the warehouse themselves to figure it all out. Moving on into the heart of the garage, here is where you will access your main laptop where you will have many options. Your garage will come stock with 5 available vehicle slots. You will need to purchase and upgrade more slots as you go. Each time you upgrade a vehicle slot you will receive plus 3 vehicle slots. The upgrade for more slots will continue to increase in price. At the top here you will see all of your garage warehouse stats. As you see Pug has not obtained any vehicles yet and he does not currently have any stored. Here we will be able to change the password of our garage to allow friends use our garage upgrades, storage, welding bench, crafting bench, or arcade machine if they like. However they will not be able to access our laptop and all of its features when using this password. Here this is where we can manage our warehouse garage members. Our garage is capable of having up to 5 members at a time that will have full access to our garage. Just like upgrading vehicle slots, Member slots work the same way but here we start off with only one member slot and can upgrade one at a time with an increasing cost until we obtain all five slots. Here we will see multiple members of Pug's garage. Members who are online will show a green circle next to their name while members who are offline will show a red X next to their name. Members can be removed from the garage at any point with a charge of $5,000 to avoid exploitation of removing a member and swapping them out for free when certain members are offline. All these variables and values are all changeable by developers through the configuration. Next we will take a look at the warehouse's main upgrades. Each warehouse upgrade will display its cost, vehicles obtained requirement and vehicles actively stored in the garage requirement. All of these warehouse upgrades are pre-configured with all of its values and variables and can be changed by developers along with a template to create more upgrades. The current upgrades include a clothing area, storage locker, crafting bench, welding bench to break down the car parts for money and scraps, arcade machine to play hack puzzles, and a printer machine to make rare items. Next we will take a look at the vehicle management section. Here you will see a list of all of your actively stored vehicles with a description of the vehicle's body health and license plate. If a vehicle's body health was damaged at all during its delivery to the garage, the player will be charged a fee depending on how damaged the body health is. We do not have any current vehicles stored right now so let's head out and pick one up. When picking up a vehicle you will receive an email of the vehicle's details such as vehicle name and plate. You will also receive a red circle zone on your map where the vehicle you are looking for can be found within its radius. Once finding the vehicle you have been sent out to obtain, you will need to lockpick or hotwire it depending on how your server is set up before the police arrive and bust you in the act. Taking the vehicle back to our warehouse is the unsafest part here as we have to be cautious of any body damage we have while also doing our best to avoid the police. Now that we have found the vehicle and delivered it back to the warehouse without being caught, we can repair all of its body damage with a simple purchase and take it to be chopped down and stripped of all of its parts.
Now that we have taken our vehicle to one of eight chop yards around the map, we can begin to strip the vehicle down of all its parts. Each part is broken down in a specific order every time. The trunk is the best part of the vehicle to break down and search as it has the highest chance of giving rare items and valuables. Each part of the vehicle has its own custom animation and sequence as it is removed by the player. Finally we can sit in the vehicle to crush it forever and receive a small money bonus. Now that we have stripped the vehicle of all of its parts we can then break these parts down at our welding bench upgrade in our warehouse for money and materials. Before being able to break down these parts we must first progress enough in our garage to be able to unlock this welding bench upgrade of course. Thank you for watching this video of a resource showcase of Pugs Chopping. If you would like to purchase this resource, it can be found in the description of this video and in the comment section. The rest of the video will be showing off some of the warehouse upgrades. But that is all for me everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. I am out.